Is everyone having a good time? Because that's what, that's what this was about. That's why we did this, because, you know, we don't really party anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a really special place for me. I was baptized in this church. Um, when you walk into the front entrance, uh, to the, on one side is a plaque dedicated to my great-grandmother. On the other side is a plaque dedicated to my great-grandfather. They came here about 100 years ago. Um, so that's how long my family's been in this city and uh, I'm, I'm proud now to be in a position where I can shape the future of the city so it's a place where our kids will want to live and where they can afford to live and where they'll be proud to live. So um, that is really the ultimate reason why I'm running. When I was 11 my family moved out like many people did, we moved to the suburbs I went to school in Massachusetts. I eventually moved to California. There were stops in Europe and Latin America and uh, 49 states along the way. But I always knew that I would make my way after my wanderings were done, I'd make my way back to Jersey City. This was a place that I always felt very close to uh, because growing up as a child, I really saw that uh, the life I wanted to live was here. Uh, you know, having my family, my friend, my, my parents, seeing my parents, their, their family, our friends, you know, spontaneous get togethers and gatherings happening all the time. You know, that's what it was really all about. And that was, that was really what I saw, what I wanted for my life. So since I've been back, um, you know, I've heard and I've experienced myself a lot of horror stories about city government, you know, whether it's something small like the hoops you have to jump through in order to get a, 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 a mistake on your tax bill corrected or a parking ticket, you know, to big stuff like not having enough uh, police presence on your street. And um, so these, so, so you know, there's always these horror stories that you hear or that you have to experience. But also during the course of this campaign and living here, I've also heard a lot about the people who are, are working, usually on their own time, on the weekends or on the evenings, like, like Dan did, and, um, and everybody on our team, to make this city a better place. You know, these are the people who come together to keep their blocks safe, uh, to organize their community, to clean up pollution that's, that, that's contaminating the neighborhood, um, to find jobs for the formerly incarcerated, to preserve green space, or to preserve our historic resources. These, these are the people who have taken it upon themselves to make Jersey City safer, more just, and more beautiful. And it'll be my honor as councilmen to represent them. And whatever role they want city government to play, and maybe it's no role at all, but I hope that what we intend to create is that the city government will be responsive. My office but will be responsive to them. Now, a city councilman is a legislator. One vote out of nine, all equal. So you, you have to be able to work with people, to compromise, to negotiate. Because if, if you're a stone wall, nothing gets through and nothing gets done. So I'll work with my colleagues. I'll collaborate. I'll be responsive. You know, I will listen to their needs and their perspectives to a certain point. Because my ultimate responsibility is to the constituents, to you. It's not about us, the elected officials. It's not about me. It's not about my political career. It's not about the next election. And it's not about how I'm going to finance a campaign. It's about remembering who made me city councilman at large, and that is you. So when I'm in that council chamber, when I'm in the big table, and there's something that comes up that goes against your interest, I'll be a legislator. I will listen, I will discuss, and I will be understanding. But I'm from Jersey City, too. And growing up, I was taught, and 
Some of you who know my mom, you may not believe this, but she told me that if someone is looking for a fight, give them one. So, um, you know, if something comes across my desk that's going to raise our taxes, you know, if it's not next year, it's five years, we're going to fight. Okay? If anyone is so blinded by short-term gains for them or their allies that they're willing to bankrupt future generations of this city, we are going to fight. If you're more concerned with your own interest rather than the best interests of the city, we're going to fight. And if your main focus is to maintain power instead of empowering others, we are definitely going to fight. Yeah. Give me the chance to fight for an open and transparent government, you know? Give me, the give me the chance to fight for community policing and more recreational activities for the kids. Give me the chance to fight for more jobs instead of more condos, because that's all that seems to get built in this city. Give me the chance to fight for you, for us, for the future generations of this city. We can do it. Thank you very much. Yeah.